This car is a prototype of Tanzania's first locally handmade electric vehicle. Designed as a commercial pickup truck, it has a top speed of 100 km per hour and can go up to a distance of 80 km when fully charged for 6 hours. Known for his nationally acclaimed cartoons, the car's creator Masood Kipanya says designing a car is part of the natural evolution of his career. I think every artist is an engineer, whether knowingly or unknowingly, but I think every artist, every person who can draw, can be an engineer because uh, you talk about designing whatever we, we, we build it has to start from the mind first and you put it on a paper uh, you, you draw it or you whatever you want to call you design and at the end of the day you build. While electric cars are not new in the country Masood says his was built and designed from scratch sourcing most materials locally. He says launching a locally made car is highly important for the country's economy. How are you going to survive if you depend on importing everything from outside so let's start making our own things you understand by doing so not only you depend on yourself but you 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 the the, the, the your economy grows because you only spend inside and sometimes again you, you can even make an export Masood says it took him 21 months to create his car at a cost of around 32,000 US dollars and that he needs at least 1 million more to begin mass production. He says his endeavor was partly inspired by countries like Ghana, Nigeria, Uganda and Kenya that produce their own vehicles. With most vehicles imported, Africa is largely a consumer when it comes to cars. Masood hopes that with the launch of this electric car, Tanzania will now join the ranks of countries that design, manufacture and export vehicles around the world. The launch of the vehicle has been well received by the Tanzanian public. However, car experts in the country say targeting high-end consumers would have been the ideal way for Masood to secure the funds he needs to scale up his business. When you create a prototype, you must ensure that it targets people with high incomes because they are the ones who are ready to take the risk of trying something new in terms of technology. If you look at a company like Tesla, their first car was the Roadster, which was created for high-end consumers. Consumers. Masood says he's already received 100 orders for his vehicle from neighboring Rwanda and countries as far off as the U.S. He says if all goes well, the vehicle might be a common sight on roads by the end of the year. Isaac Lukando, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.